So are you ready for this? Americans are announcing their citizenship in record numbers as the U.S. cracks down on global tax evaders. Those tough new laws are aimed at recovering the almost $100 billion the U.S. government says it loses in unpaid taxes every year. But is it just forcing Americans out of the country? Peter Schiff is CEO and chief global strategist for Euro Pacific Capital, and he joins us now. Which is it? I, I mean, it seems like this might not be the best thing for the government to be doing, or is it? Well, I think it's a terrible thing that they're doing, and it's a disturbing trend that's going to continue. You know, the government is making it very difficult for Americans who happen to be living and working abo abroad uh, to function. Uh, a lot of people are having to give up their U.S. citizenships, even though they'd prefer to retain them. But it's not just expatriates. You know, even if you're living in America and you want to bank abroad, you know, I own an offshore bank. I won't accept American customers at my bank because I don't want to be subjected uh, to the enormous expense that I would incur if I tried to accommodate uh, U.S. customers. The, the, the fact that people are giving up their citizenship, I think the number is approaching almost 2,000. Is anyone taking note other than the network and a few of the news organizations? Is anyone in the government saying we need to rethink this? Well, I doubt it. I mean, I think the government is deliberately trying to prevent Americans from leaving the country. I think they're going to make it much more difficult in the future than it is today, both to get out of the country or to get your money out of the country. You know, there's a form that you have to fill out in order to renounce your citizenship. And up until a few years ago, the form was free. Now it costs $500 just to get the form to give up your citizenship. I mean, who knows what that form may cost in the future?